What's up, Rift Raptor here? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we have episode three of Minefield, and I'm very excited because, guys, I have actually done some off cam work. Okay? Now, a lot of times I don't actually do off cam work because I don't, since I do this on my phone, it is a little bit more difficult to um, do off cam work because I have screen time stuff. Like, basically, I have time limits on my phone. But, I um, over the past few days, I've been doing a lot, okay? So, let me just show you a few of the things that have happened. So, this might not be a lot to some people, such as <laughs> the other minefielders, but I went mining, and I have a lot of stuff. I have almost a stack of diamonds. I have lots more iron. If you guys remember, I, like, ha basically didn't have any. I actually made this nice bow. It, uh, you should do what the bow says. Uh, <laughs> It's Unbreaking 3 Flame 1, Punch 2, Infinity 1, Power 4. Really, the reason I like it is because it has Infinity, so, like, I only have to have one arrow with me, and that's pretty nice. So, yeah, I've been trying to catch myself up on the server because, you know, SMPs aren't really my thing. I'm not the type to have a mega base and have maxed out armor like Lynx, who we're going to talk to sometime later in this episode. So today's episode, as you already saw from the title, is that we are going to start building my base, okay? So, like I said, mega base is really not my thing. But, I did have a cool idea, and I don't know if I'll be able to pull it off, but we're going to do our best. So while we wait for this rain to clear outside, and for uh, night to stop being here, because I want to show you what I want to do, I want to introduce you to this. This is Billy Jr. Unfortunately, while I was off cam mining, um, both Lynx and I met two small slimes, and his was unfortunately, I believe he f died of fall damage, and mine, he uh, jumped in front of me while I was trying to place a block of cobblestone, and I kind of got rid of him. So, we made this, I made this little grave for him, rest in peace Billy Jr. He was probably the second best slime on the server after Billy Sr. He was the second cutest, and he deserved better. So, yeah, just wanted to let you guys know, that is why I have this random little uh, memorial thing over here. <laughs> so another thing I did off cam is I tried to get a lot of materials. So with the sand and gravel and all the squid in the ocean right there, I've created lots of black black concrete. I have 12 stacks and an 8 of black concrete, so that should help. I have some red stained glass, I have some redstone blocks, okay? And I have some light gray stained glass. Now, this is all for the builds that is going to happen. I am going to tell you guys about what I want to do right now. So you see, I did actually finish this nice staircase with these ladders on the sides. I'm not, I wasn't actually done with that. So I might actually have to break all of this because of the new idea that I have, which is, which would be really sad. But my idea is this. I want to make something that looks like it is a giant snake, okay? That is popping in and out of the mountain. So let me see if I can show you this better in a boat. So basically this part right here is going to be where it looks like a, the head of a snake is coming out with his jaw open. And then at parts around the mountain, it, there's going to be this thick like body of the snake like looping in and out. Not sure where exactly that's going to be. But that is the main premise of my idea. Now I am not a builder, guys. Building is not something that I do. I have not trained. I haven't ever really built anything big on survival or creative before. So we're going to see how this works out. But the task today is going to be to try to figure out how to make it kind of look like a head is coming out of that mountain, okay? So we might be joined by Lynx in the future. I'm not sure if I'm going to tell him my idea. I've been kind of holding out on him. I mean, obviously, when he watches this video, he'll know. But if you hear him being confused in future clips... That's why. Now since it's day, I think we're just gonna get started, so I'm gonna put some stuff away real fast. We are going to grab all of this stuff and we are going to attempt to make an outline of the snake's head at the top. Now I'm not exactly sure how this is going to look once it is built, but we are going to attempt to make it look as realistic as possible. So we want the snake to pop out right here, and so from the ocean you'll be able to see it, because obviously why do you want to make a base if people can't see it? So this is like where people come from from uh, spawn and most people's bases, only so Lynx's base is down that way. And so we want it to like be popping out of, of this side of the mountain, which means we need to get rid of this stuff right here. So we're gonna do that real fast. Yeah, we basically want to get rid of- oh, I don't have a shovel on me. Oh, uh, no. Well, I guess that was my fault. That was not a great choice, Rift. That was not very smart.
Yes, so you might be saying, Rift, this looks really unnatural. Correct! It does look very unnatural, and I am aware of that now that I have this giant blank stone space staring at me. But the next thing we want to try to do is try to get a mold. Not a mold, an outline perhaps of the mouth. Now this is going to be tricky because I have never built a snake's mouth before. I don't know how to make it look even slightly realistic, and it has to be big enough that you can see it from down there. But I won't be able to go look at it down there unless I first make it up here. So we're going to see how well this goes, but we're really just going to go for it. So, And so we're going to start by trying to just make like the the top half of the jaw okay so we're gonna wow this is looking a lot more difficult now that i'm actually gonna try to do it so this i'm trying to just make a bare trace outline of the top part of the jaw so it's going to be open so it has to kind of go like this like that you see which is kind of awkward, but we're going to attempt to do it anyway. Oh, it looks like Lynx can talk, so we're going to get in a call with him real fast. Show my legs and stuff. I'm going to grab an Xbox controller and play with that. Okay. I already started the video, so I'm intro done stuff into the video. Oh, flip! I'm in the video. Hi, guys! <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I could have just cut that out, but I kind of like that now. I, I always seem to do something. <laughs> Who comes into a world and is like, you know what? I'm gonna blow up a creeper and not fix it. Yeah. <laughs> They'll enjoy that, right? You know what's really fun? What is really fun? Trying to build with black concrete at night. It's so fun. Uh <laughs> I can't see anything. Ugh. <laughs> I haven't played with an Xbox controller in a while, but luckily, muscle memory works for gaming. Yay! Because <laughs> I need sugar cane, because I've been thinking about, well, first off, designing, but then <laughs> also building oh, a my sugar word. cane farm on the server. That was, we've had some big sneezes today. <laughs> my sneezes today have been ridiculous. I don't understand what's happening. I'll probably move back to a keyboard and mouse soon though, because holy cow is an Xbox controller. I swear, you're gonna be editing later and take that out of context. You're just gonna leave in the part where I say an Xbox controller is super inefficient. Like, you're not gonna leave in the part <laughs> where I say, I think I'm gonna move back to a keyboard and mouse. You're just gonna be like, hey, I so he's just like, playing with an Xbox controller is inefficient. I can maybe see myself doing that, perhaps. Did you tell your your fans of Billy? I Billy did. Jr. I uh, did at the beginning of the, the video. I addressed Billy. Did you have a moment of silence? Uh, I didn't, but would you like to have one? Uh, it's too late now. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Unfortunately, some of my footage got lost because my phone is being not fun right now so some of that footage is randomly cut to me having like a skeleton to it being filled in i'm sorry about that but at least you get to have more dialogue instead of just like time lapse but you are about to see more of that so uh as you can see this is what it looks like right now from down here so i actually had to add this redstone to the bottom of it because black concrete is so like void e like it's so difficult to see it that you could not tell, it just looked like I put a black blob, blob there. So I put that there, I see you have some dolphin friends right now. Yeah, so I think it looks pretty good. It kind of looks like a snake, not really sure. It might end up just being some sort of creature instead of a snake, um, specifically. We'll see how it goes, but we have done the top jaw, and now we have to make a bottom jaw that extends out here. So 
I am about to get into a call with Link, so you'll hear a little bit of the dialogue like you already heard, and some time lapses of me building, so yeah, that should be fun. How are you well, doing? Pretty good. I'm still confused as to what on earth this is supposed to be. Hey, can you meet me at, like, the the front of your base, like, your actual base right now? Yeah, sure. A sapling. Wow, that was really far away. <laughs> With coordinates. Do, yeah, I really, do I have to do this now? Like, come to the coordinates. You should 100% come to the coordinates, please. Now. I'm, do it. But, but... No, 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 you have to. You have to. Okay. You gotta come to the coordinates. He's gotta... Guys, we're being sent on a special quest. Hello. Minefield challenges! Minefield challenges! Minefield challenges! Come on, come on, do it. Come on, come on. No! Get the cactus with me, do it. No. I'm no, I don't want to touch the cactus. Minefield challenges! Come on, you have to, you have to. Fine. You click the button, you touch. There you go! And you're initiated. You're, you're part of Minefield challenges now. Yay! Oh my okay. word, are you recording? Yeah. Ugh! <laughs> 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 episode. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I was trying to do something. Okay, you ready? You ready? You ready? Okay. Thanks. Oh, so basically, how minefield challenges work is you take three pieces of paper. So take three pieces of paper. My inventory is full. Uh, just put some stuff in the because chest. Because I was in the middle of kind of building a project that was supposed to be my episode, and you are kind of getting in the way of that. My video is supposed exactly. to come out in two three days. Paper. Come on, this, this is fun. This is fun. This is fun. <sighs> is you take three pieces of paper, you come to the sandbill, and you write three challenges for me on your pieces of paper. Okay, we have made our first challenge. That is our second challenge officially now. This one is my third challenge. Okay. What challenge did I get? You are- <laughs> Oh. What is it? You are so evil! <laughs> is it the dog one? Yes! <laughs> you have to tame 50 wolves, name all of them something, and then feed them to lava. You are a <laughs> horrible person! <laughs> you are so- You're terrible. You know what? Grab your challenge. It says, create some form of shop. You got the nice one! Do you, you accept your challenge? I accept my challenge. Cool, then put it in here. <laughs> I'm gonna bye! Wait, when, when do I, I have- your challenge, bye! Wait, wait, bye. What, what? When do <laughs> I have to do it by? When you finish, just contact me and we'll meet again and see if we are happy with what we did. I will not be happy with what I'm about to do. Okay. I'm not evil. I was trying to think of something that would be difficult, and I thought that one would be pretty darn difficult. But now I have to make a shop. What in the world am I gonna do? I have to kill 50 dogs! Why are you- <laughs> can't be uninitiated, so yep. I'm stuck with you. <laughs> yep. That was your fault for taking me away from my building project. I think I just about finished the mouth. We're gonna see what it looks like from out here. Ooh, okay, so it actually does kind of look like a mouth now. I'm gonna have to keep something like the redstone around because otherwise you're not gonna be able to see the form. It doesn't really look like a snake. This kind of goes up a little much. I might lower that down another level. But overall, right now, it looks pretty good, I'd say. Okay, yeah, so I do definitely like that better now that it's lowered down. I might have to do something. I don't want to keep the redstone here necessarily, but it looks like I might have to. So I actually edited it a little bit off cam uh, to try to fix it up. I actually put a lot of the redstone inside as an inside layer instead of on the outside. And I made this go inside now. <laughs> My voice saying hello. Unfortunately, I actually don't have enough time to um, finish this up for you guys because I do want to get this episode out on time. Um, but this is what we did get done today and I do still think it looks pretty cool. I don't know if it exactly looks like a snake but I do think it looks pretty cool. So if you guys have enjoyed this video of me not knowing how to build anything and the fact that I have um, no 
no boots on for some reason, please leave a like down below for more Minefield episodes and subscribe and turn notifications if you enjoy and never want to miss another upload. And with that said, guys, have an absolutely safe, blessed day, and uh, yeah, peace out. Well, that does not work in the water, does it?